Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites. And hooray for a miracle! Well, actually, hooray for great police work. Here's Nat with some amazing news. Yeah, this is breaking news, Koshi. Cleo Smith, the four-year-old girl missing in Outback WA, has been found. She is alive and she is well. Yep, it was tears of joy across the media. Welcome home, Cleo. Wow. That has given me goosebumps. And they've got, they've got her back. Little girl back. You know? For now, welcome home, Cleo. And as the father of little girls, I'm just so happy for their family. And live at the scene in Carnarvon was Seven's crime reporter, Ben Downey. Uh, outside the police station there and, oh no, you're at the scene. You're, you've relocated to the house where Cleo was found. Yeah, that's right. And with that, Koshi told Ben to go and find some locals. I'll just see if I can wave, wave them over now. Sorry, guys. Can we have a chat to you with just about the neighbours and, and, and see what's happening with the police investigation? Uh, no. Until a willing local fronted up for an interrogation. And if, if I was a, an investigator right now saying, you know, what was suspicious happening over the past few days, what would you tell that investigator? True crime on live TV. And even more in the newspapers with a 24-page special wrap in today's West Australian. And no doubt much more to come. But now to a French thriller over those sunk subs. Relations between Australia and France have hit a shocking new low. It's sunk to a new low. Is that an all-time low? Sacre bleu! The diplomatic spat between the two nations is sub-par, with the advertiser calling it French wine. And the telly upping the stakes to frog of war. And in case you missed it, here's what the top frog said. French President Emmanuel Macron calling Scott Morrison a liar. And it was Nines, Bevan Shields, who scored the killer line. Do you think he lied to you? I don't think. I know. Yikes. And when the press confronted the PM with the charge, he slapped the messenger. Launching his own attack on the travelling press pack. You guys have seen him. You were getting selfies with him. Morning. Pants on fire. First of all, we weren't taking selfies with President Macron. I must have been misinformed. Tense. And when the PM's personal text messages to Macron were leaked to the media, the French ambassador went in for a new attack. This is an unprecedented new law. And what you say in confidence to your partners will be eventually used and weaponized against you one day. No wonder the PM says it's time to move on. Not sure the media will be so keen. But now to exciting news, quarantine free travel is back. And Nine's Today Show was camera ready to capture the historic moment. And this is a live shot over Sydney Airport where we are standing by for a Qantas flight from LA to touch down. And what better way to fill three hours of breakfast television than plane spotting. You can just see it, there it is, oh, in the distance. Let's just stay here and watch it all. Here we are. Three, oh, well. two, Oh, there we go. And touchdown. Yay! Welcome home. Right. <laughs> wow, so exciting and so much emotion. Oh, it is quite emotional this morning. I imagine lots of emotion there this morning. So much emotion, guys. You've captured it perfectly. It is a day full of emotion plenty of emotional scenes and what was the emotion like on board this morning? It was a very much mixed emotions, it was great emotions. <laughs> it has been a morning full of emotions. But what about the emotions in Brisbane? You think it's exciting in Sydney, have a look at it here. Have you ever seen anything more depressing? Yes, Brisbane is still closed to international travel, but nine crossed there anyway. I feel like I haven't been invited to the party. Yes. <laughs> it's a bit awkward, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, some breaking news. A cleaner rolled through before. <laughs> it's pretty pathetic at Brisbane Airport. <laughs> sure is. Makes you wonder why they sent Jess there in the first place. Humiliate Queensland, perhaps? And we'll be back with Media Watch, 9.15 Monday night on the ABC. Also, iView and social media. Don't miss it.